hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to continue our band of brothers this week with episode two from the first episode i know we left off a pretty a pretty hectic <laughs> moment where we, we, where we were, they were getting shipped um shipped off so so when the plane started to get hit and suddenly I, the pilot gives me the green light i'm out the door immediately that's a Jesus. opening blast from the, the opening shot from the prop blast that it broke this chin strap that we had on this helmet liner and, and uh, that's when i lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening i'm sorry it's just so shocking to me like these people really went through something so intense and i don't think it ever like repeating the story to an audience i don't think it ever does it justice because when i try to put myself in that position i mean that is hectic to say the very very least so um i don't know it's, it's it feels so real it just flew right off my foot prepare yourself mentally each man must do that himself yeah each man must that is mentally in the back of your mind you 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 know you you wonder what's going to happen and all that you know you uh you've been trained and trained and trained and what your what your job is going to be and what you're supposed to do and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about yeah and we lost a lot of people you try to put it all out of your mind oh that sucks because i feel like at that point you kind of ha you have to in order to survive to focus on your training you have to comp com um compare oh my god english is not gonna happen for me today um compartmentalize com compare compare comp you guys know what i mean like categorize like organize and put it put away those feelings and sometimes it makes me think like they obviously can't process what they're feeling or worrying about immediately Up at what point does it come back to them you know, and does it all come back all at once like that? That must be very intense. Compartmentalize. Ah, not a good day for English for me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That's so scary. And remember, most of them volunteered, right? I like how the camera is shaking to give us that rockety effect too. Oh, I feel anxiety. I do. I think they're putting themselves in a state of mind right now. I mean, what else do you do, right? Oh, I feel like I feel it in the pit of my stomach. <clears throat> Here we go. This is what all the training was for. This is what all of it is for. This is why the training was so tough. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Cause you know like some are immediately not gonna make it like you just know oh my god and i mean that's what you're falling you know what i mean like that's what you have to maneuver oh my god oh my god oh my god already i mean i think you have to fly until you're at the drop zone right here we go oh no oh no <gasps> that was scary that was intense no 
if they would have just like literally a minute before Jesus Christ is an understatement, genuinely. And look at all the parachutes. Those are all men, right? Oh my god. He wants to jump. Oh my god, look at this point of view. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so intense. What the heck, guys? My hands are sweating. And then, what if you don't drop in the correct drop zone either? Oh my god. You have to rally your men. Oh no, I'm scared. I don't know. I think it would be a relief. Would it be a relief or not to, to hit ground? I personally think once you touch ground, like, it would be a relief because so much that's not in your control is already over with. At this point, it's on the land training, you know? I feel like your adrenaline is going. He's a wonderful lieutenant. I mean... See, that's the thing. And then you have to navigate gunshots. I don't even know how you rendezvous at this point. Like, how do you know where to go? I know there's a debriefing and all that, but in the middle of all this chaos... This is why the training is so important, really. Aren't you D Company? Able, sir. Guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, huh, sir? Yeah. And look how he's keeping grounded. Do you have any idea where we are, sir? Like, at the, uh, since he's lieutenant, I feel like it's so important for him to be grounded and still sure of himself because everyone else is going to be freaking out and you're in that position of leadership and I, he's doing a wonderful job. <laughs> the, again, the very least I could say. I mean, he looks very stable, you know? Tell you're a radio man. Yes, sir. In my platoon, I tell you you're a rifleman first, a radio man second. Locate some landmarks to get our bearings. Keep your eyes peeled for buildings, farmhouses, yeah. bridges, roads. That's important. I notice how he's very objective. Like, he's still on the ball. Like, step one, step two, step three. It's a good state of mind to have. Oh, thank God. Okay. Is that you? I've been running to him too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Any weapons? No, sir. Where the hell are we? Sir, I saw a sign back that way. It said San Merrick Lees. You know what? That's two already that lost their leg back. And then we saw the gentleman in the beginning say that he lost it too. So I'm thinking this was a common thing where they would jump and lose their stuff. That's. Like to add more to the stress, like you're dropping in basically with no he has a knife. A knife. Terrifying. We're about seven kilometers away from my four hours away from when we need to have it secured. So we got a lot of walking. Damn. Okay. Quick maps. Seven kilometers, about fourteen miles and four hours to do it. So sixty, one twenty, two forty. If my calculations are correct, that's about seven minutes a mile. Yeah, I think I'm wrong in that. <laughs> okay. You guys get what I'm trying to say. It's it's not a lot. It's not a lot of time. You might not stick with us until we find your unit. And we don't clear those roads, our boys ain't going nowhere. If I ever think in a secure road, then Louis don't even have a weapon. Louis, Everybody Lieutenant. Oh, thank God. Now he has to deal with about two units, so his men are trained. The other man, like you said, I would have told you, oh, you were um, rifleman first, radio man second. They're trained differently.
Are they civilians or? No, it seems like they're commanders or something. Oh, that wasn't on his command. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. That he has his men know his command. You know things like that. Like he knows how his men work. This guy, for example, I don't think he was part of the the unit. I'm not very good with faces. Um. So, and now we see that kind of behavior. It's just really important. It's really important that they listen to him. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Fine, Quaker. I can't believe we're now we're dealing with this. Guy's problem. So besides having a shitty name, what's his problem? None of your fucking business, cowboy. Damn. All right, let's move out. Sir. I mean, we're in this together. We don't gotta be like this. Weapon. What's he gonna do? Shout at him? Shout to me for killing Krauts. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. I have heard. I mean, again, I, I just I have heard from you know people I've known that've been in the service that that is part a big part of the culture is the drinking. So I can see how if the lieutenant doesn't partake in that, it could kind of exclude him a little bit. Um, and, and a big part of, of being the leader is you have to create that rapport and that bond with, with um, um, whoever's under you. So that could cause some separation. But at the end of the day, I, I would objectively look at the scales rather than like, hey, can he drink five bottles or not, right? But yeah. It sucks that they're viewing him like that. Because I feel like he's very capable. Damn. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. It sucks, but yeah, that's kind of how you have to look at it. Yeah. You, know. you okay? Yes, Sergeant. Well, let's go. Oh my god, his leg. I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger. It's the Navy. The landings have started. Let's go. Let's move it out. You just gotta learn to return his fire is all. Just gotta realize it ain't about you. Just yeah. Lock, you shut your yap. Oh. Yes, I remember him now. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry. I'm really not good with faces or names. Never have been. I don't think I will. But I, d I understand the, the, the rage, a sudden emotion, why he just sprayed at them like that, like the anger and, and frustration. I get it. I get it. Yeah, this goes way deeper. I mean, they're losing brothers, family members. Like, it, it's, it's hard. I mean. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Gibbs, what are you doing in a crowd uniform? My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Oh shit. You're shitting me, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Huh. I never thought that was a thing. I honestly didn't. That's crazy. And now he's gonna be in prison, basically, right? Wow. What's going on? What's the hold up? Not sure. Get your tenants get something to do with that. Lieutenant Mia? No one's seen him or anyone from this plane. Wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? Yeah. Hey, Lieutenant Spears. Can't believe it, what happened to his plane. Still waiting for orders. You got some cigarettes? Yeah. That's when I was at Monarch tooling propeller shafts. No kidding. This is a good picture because it really just shows that just like he's like, oh, I hate it. like the, we know we answered the call like he's also, you know, serving the country and. In a way, it just looks like two young men. Signing up for opposing co like jobs. And look at the way that they're talking. I mean, they could have been neighbors and here they are at. Um, each other's points what are the chances of that huh you and me a hundred miles from each other working to practice the same job Jeez. yeah hey, that's what i'm saying we're waiting all of you yeah i'm coming see you around 
Crazy. I, I crazy. He's about to die, isn't he? That was really hard. That's all the realities of war. If you guys don't know me, um, and you don't know a little bit of my habits, some, when I'm smiling in very uncomfortable situations, it's because I'm uncomfortable. It's just an automatic response. It could be a very tough scene and I'll be smiling, not because I think it's lighthearted or funny. I just... Reaction. I guess that means you, Dick. I mean, after what he just saw? Yeah. He just went, killed everybody, and is walking back. That's it right around here, sir. Think he's gonna handle it? Yes, sir. Because my guess is they're doing some terrible damage there. Major Strand wants to take him out. Here and here. The Germans are in the trenches. How many crowds do you think we're facing? No idea. Yeah, that's a lot. That's that's reassuring, right? Along with us. <sighs> Just like the guns. All right, let's pack it up, boys. Yeah, I mean. Should you be outside with the other Abel Company guys? See you around, all. I I oh. There's a lot of dynamic here because I mean he didn't train with the Easy Company, so it could also make him like the boy. The Easy Company could make maybe like exclude him a little bit because you weren't. You weren't there sweating with them, right? Going up and down those hills and fighting together um, with them. So he has to earn his stripes in there, I think. Um, but again, I don't know. We're missing a lot of men and we already have an objective. And you have to make sure you do your objective so that way everybody else can survive, basically. Because if we don't take the machine gun guy out, everyone's going to be under fire. So that's pretty... <sighs> when you see we captured the first gun, I want you and your TNT as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, sir, I was wondering, sir, you need an extra hand? What's your name, trooper? Lorraine, sir. You're with me, Lorraine. Captain, second... No, oh, he, he wants in. I don't know. Honestly, since the drop, my heart's been feeling heavy. Just, I just... To think what they're gonna face... It's a lot. This is heavy stuff. Like people make a lot of war jokes about, oh, it's about to be World War Three, and I'm like in my head, like I really don't want to go to war. <laughs> Take Ranny, envelop right, give covering fire. Ray, on a machine gun. Oh. You have to know exactly what he's saying, like the commands and everything. Seriously, this is why training is so important. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I mean, I personally still can't see anything, but... Come on, come on. I'm so anxious. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Come on, it's true, it all has to work together, right? The distraction from the right so you can get him from the left. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, okay. Ooh. Looks like Lorraine needs some Oh my god. Holy shit.
I like the point of views that they show us. Like right there, how he was against the wall, and then he like flipped over. Damn. Yeah, and that's why they do the crawl thingies, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, the grenade! Did it get him? Holy shit, man. But then you can use the gun, right? To help uh, the other guns? I don't know. I don't think so. You have to make a decision, um, and it's gonna be like a moral decision. I don't think that was a luger. Yeah, now what? Now what? Now what? Oh, because he wanted it for his kid brother, right? Oh shit! Nope, 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 nope. Holy shit! Yeah, I don't know about that decision. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a reminder of the mentality that this is for glory, you know? I don't know what's going on, but... I mean, that looks like a big explosion. Oh, it's just to turn... Uh, break it up, okay. That was cool! I don't mean to say war is cool, but like the way that they like... The lieutenant kind of just destroyed it, destroyed it. I like, again, this point of view. This camera work shows how hectic it is. Like, it really does. I think the reality of it is, is that during all of this, it would be hard to keep, um, like, to know exactly where you are, where you're supposed to do, what's what. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of debris flying everywhere. There's a lot of chaos and confusion. You have to know your next step, right? So... I like the camera work because it shows how how chaotic it is. Damn. Wait, did he just get shot at? He did. Damn. I mean, I think that's his first, hey, like. <sighs> First loss directly under him like this in this situation. Oh! Oh man! They're just going gung ho at it, I guess. I don't know. Damn. That's it. Job done. I figure there's maybe 40 or so crowds still manning three MG42s to the rear. Hey, Popeye. Oh, Popeye made it. Yes, sir. Yeah, probably there's 40 left. I think we need artillery or maybe mortars might do the job. By nightfall, 2nd Battalion had secured San Marie Dumont. We had an hour to rest and scrounge whatever food we could before we had to move south and secure the town of Coolerville. Sir, <laughs> if you have a reservation someplace else, well, I'd be happy to go Is that an ammo box? Oh, <laughs> Evening. Hello, sir. Something dying here? Any word on Lieutenant Mean yet, sir? No, not yet. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. I job, the lieutenant don't drink. Yeah, yeah. It's been a day of first. Don't you think, Garnier? But you know, see, that created a bond right there. Right there. Like, I, I, like after what they've gone through, there's definitely a mutual respect. I mean, there should be. Oh, Sergeant? Sir? I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he said something. He knows how to talk to his men. And that's so important. What's on your mind? I lost a man today. 
Yeah. A John Hall, New Yorker. Damn. He's a good man. Man. Not even old enough to buy a beer. Not hungry. I mean, it would make me feel sick too. Yeah, like, I understand that. I sent that map up to Division. I think it's gonna do some good. Make it more worthwhile. Oh, I feel sad, y'all. Like, he, you know, like the, the heavy responsibility of being a lieutenant or a commanding officer. That these men are on your shoulder. Their lives are also on your shoulders. That's why it was so scary when the other guy, the other lieutenant, couldn't read a map. You know what I mean? Can you imagine in a real world situation the consequences of that? That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. Yeah. And prayed I would make it through D plus one. I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. Yeah. Oh, how heavy. That's beautiful that we're seeing his, his thought processes. I think anybody who's lived through war ju truly just wants peace. Oh, and the following medals were awarded. Popeye. Lieutenant Richard Windsor. Yeah. Oh, wow. It just shows, like, the knowledge of Lieutenant Winters. <sighs> Another heavy episode. But to be honest, this was a beautiful one. Like, th this show's gonna get me. This, this is gonna be a good, like, it's a good show. I already know it. I know it. Anything involving World War II, really, is just what I, I keep saying it. But it's just one of those events that feels so unbelievable. Like, I can't believe the tragedy and everything that happened. <sighs> so many times, um, like, whenever I first, you know, when I was little and we first read di The Diary of Anne Frank, I remember just crying. And then I did my own research um, and I just cried some more. And yeah, I don't know. The show is definitely going to stick with me, I think, for a long time. You guys, I'm telling y'all, y'all have some good picks. I'm glad I started this YouTube channel thing going on because I would have never discovered the show, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is definitely going to be wonderful. I like how they're, how they're showing. Really, I like how it starts off with real life veterans show, telling you their experiences so that way you can tie it into the episode because i think they did a really great job here in doing that um you know with the leg thing falling off and then notice how the chin strap was just hanging out and so you know it, it does feel like they took these real life experiences to heart and wanted to tell the story and i think they are successfully doing that so another wonderful episode <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below on it. Thank you so much for watching with me again, as always. Um, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed watching along with me, please don't forget to give it a little thumbs up or the subscribe button as it helps my channel out a lot. And of course, the full episode will be available on my Patreon so you can watch along. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.